Hello my friends, I'm Rich Larson and I'm the RC Tire Guy. Today I wanted to give my personal recommendation on what tire to use for the upcoming Grinding Stone Hard Enduro coming up on March 21st in Page, Arizona. This is a first of its kind Hard Enduro race on sandstone, slick rock, as well as some sandy transfer sections. Now I've had a lot of guys ask me what tire I recommend for this upcoming race and of course like most things, I have an extremely long answer. So first, I'll give you my short answer, and if you don't care about the rest of the video, you can turn it off, it won't hurt my feelings. I will be racing the first upcoming round, and simply put, I recommend using the VE33S Gakota. Now, if you don't care about how I got to this recommendation, I'll see you next week. But if you do, get ready for a long drawn out explanation that will probably leave you with more questions than answers. Truthfully, that's what I'm good at, droning on and on about a single subject and never really getting to a definitive answer. I overthink most things and my tire choice was absolutely one of them. In fact, I won't even be running the tire that I'm recommending. I'll be running the JX8 Gakota. So with that said, get ready to get into the weeds. The biggest reason I chose the JX8 Gakota is I trust the tire. I've put a lot of time in adapting and being comfortable on this new carcass and compound from IRC. Truthfully, I love the JX8 and I'll most likely be running it the majority of the time at the races I do this year. But does that mean you should run the JX8 Gakota at the Grinding Stone Hard Enduro? Like most of my answers, yes and no. My answer for you depends on who you are as a rider. I believe a lot of guys are going to be running the VE33S Gakota, and I believe that is a really good tire choice. If you've put a lot of time on the VE33S, then I'd say it's a good idea to run it. The harder compound is going to last much longer than that of the softer JX8. So towards the end of the race, I may be cursing myself for running the JX8. So why did I choose it? There are a few reasons other than the time I've put on it and the trust that I have in it. The first reason is I believe I'm pretty good at holding traction. I'm also using this as a challenge to myself to see if I can make it last on the coarse sandstone. Also, it will be good experience for future recommendations. This will be extremely valuable info, not only to the guys thinking about racing this type of terrain in the future, but also weekend riders wanting tire recommendations for Moab trips and other sandstone recreational rides. So largely, the reason I'm running the JX8 is for educational purposes, and I'll be sure to report back to you guys on how the tire held up over the weekend. Now, why am I recommending the VE33S for you guys? First, let's talk tread pattern. The VE33 tread pattern is made for softer terrain. There will be quite a few sand sections and the taller knobs and spread out tread pattern will be a big advantage in those situations. Also, the hybrid compound of the VE33S will last much longer on the coarse sandstone. Now, I'd recommend getting a very soft mousse setup, maybe three or four PSI equivalent and always make sure to double rim lock your moose insert. On top of my recommendation, James Flynn, course designer and IRC athlete, also recommends the VE33S Gakota. He's a very talented rider and put a lot of time on this terrain. So if I were you, I'd most likely go with the VE33S for this race. The JX8 hasn't had a lot of testing on the sandstone, so it's hard for me to fully recommend the new tire. I'm willing to bet the JX8 will perform well, but I won't fully know until the race is over. If you happen to make it out to the Grinding Stone Hard Enduro on March 21st in Page, Arizona, be sure to stop by and say hi to me. We can talk Hard Enduro, tires, techniques, and anything in between. I hope you guys are enjoying the channel and I will be dropping a bunch more technique breakdowns coming soon, so make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, as well as follow us on Instagram at IRCMoto and my personal Instagram page at RichLarson511. And until next time, keep trading.